be careful where your product's at and yeah. how much is out there if you're not too sure where shit is going. I, I, I do worry about it. I mean, I'm not, and again, that's not, that's not, I'm not picking on. I mean, it bought the whole snack out of mine. Like half our show's been it down that, lives down that yeah. aisle somewhere. Right. But I do worry about it. I look at chocolate bars. A four ninety nine chocolate bar is no big deal. At last year's world, in twenty twenty three's world, a two ninety nine might be a big deal. Well, you, you just this Not is that everybody. this Appreciate is that. that right? Like you 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 know everyone's going to be looking for more, right? Like because the shopping baskets are getting smaller. I I think once a week I call Kenny to complain about. Um, you know the the uh, chip you, thing. The chip thing happened today. Or whatever because it is. I, yeah, I called Kenny to go. That. What the f? Right? Like I I I bought I I wanted I picked up the kids from school. I wanted to bring them home. Um, I pick up. You know, every other day I pick up six kids. Right. Um, I'm like a mini school bus, but I wanted to throw some chips in the in the you know because they got a, a day off tomorrow. So I threw bought some chips, but it cost me almost twenty bucks to buy. Right enough chips for six kids right like that is not something that so how soon before like on no. that situation now the occasion when it's you and kathy you'll buy you'll buy the humble and you're not going to share it with the kids right yeah. so if rachel yeah. and ria listen to the show sorry guys you're shit out of luck mom and dad ate the chips yeah you're getting you're getting lays and old dutch yeah, or whatever yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. just life yeah. in the big city yeah right so yeah. that's definitely going to happen but, you know, this is where when you look at what, you know, Weston tried to do on his big, you know, price reduction holding mm -hmm. price bullshit. The concept, though, when you look at house brands is where they're going to win. Because if you look at a lot of President's Choice product, yep. it definitely looks like a brand. Yeah. It's not going to you're not going to feel embarrassed necessarily to have it on the counter. Yeah. Because for sure, most of your friends probably have it on the counter, yep. whether it's theirs or Western family, like from. Yeah. Or food the group, President's Metro's, Choice Black Label, like all whatever. of those. Metro, the Black Metro's Label's going premium, crazy. right? Like, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Metro's uh, going Longos crazy is the other brands. one. Yeah, yeah. Same thing. So when you start looking, yeah. why are they doing that? Because yeah. they're starting to even worry about yeah. where this is going. Yeah. And they know that if they can get the perception of their stuff to be a little higher and showing better value, they know that they will – the person's not going to leave the store. They mm -hmm. will buy something. Challenge is mm -hmm. they may not buy the stuff that we so love and talk about so much Correct. on this show. Correct. Right? Yeah, I do worry about that, Philip. I, I, yeah. I know from my perspective when I'm in the store buying. I yeah. mean, I'm on cash. I mean, you know, you got you laugh. I am like you phone me, and I have to tell you back. I'm on till I can't talk to you. I mean, I, I, but I, you know, I'm I'm listening to every single, literally every single customer complain about some pricing. Yeah, and I have yeah. a store that has options, and I just judge accordingly, and I can direct them into options that might make sense. Right. But, you know, I'm not, I, you know, nobody talks as much on the till as I do to, the, you know, I mean, even, even, you know, Morley laughs at me because hey, you talk a lot because I like yeah. to know what the hell's yeah. going on. I like talking to people. I want to see what they think. You know, yeah. people are willing to stop Phil and grab, they put a lemon on. I said, listen, you know, see nine cents each. They're three for two. I said, if you're going to go through the lemons, you don't, you know, I'm not forcing you to buy, but people are clicking. Okay. Well, the last it's not a massive, cut, but I still save yeah. 14 yeah. cents, 13 cents. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm yeah. seriously going to shut the rent yeah. off for 13 cents, yeah. but they're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's there. Yeah. So if you're in that price point, like you said, if you are a premium snack, you're 150 grams at 699, 799, and there's options out there and there's a shit. Of them, and I, I appreciate that they're not as clean and I appreciate they might be made by mass brand. I get all that. But there's even well, a lot of guys within your space that may not be as clean as you, but have figured out that 250 grams at that 699, yeah. 799 is not going to hurt them coming up. Well, I mean, it's hard to know, do. I mean, we're just, you know, you we're think about this here, good, but... better, best strategy, right? Like when, when you're premium, you're the best, right? But when you get into these kind of times, the good is what people are looking for, right? Like they're they're not going to offer the not best, all right? people, so, right? So remember, we're yeah. not talking about the planet, the entire planet. There are lots of people who have a lot of money today, and will have a lot of money next year, and a lot of money the year after. And Wait, so so this is a this is a good place. Let's switch gears a little. So, 
Um, because right about now, a brand's going, wait a second. So I'm growing like crazy. And you just told me I'm in trouble, even though I'm expanding into retailers. So let's talk about this for a second. So if you are a premium brand who is ramping up or has stepped into a lot of distribution to try and cover these mass brands, what are you, what are we saying we would like them to think about here as they grow? I, I, I really get to know who my neighbors are. I would really get to know who my neighbors on the shelf are and what capable and not capable of. And mm -hmm. I'd start doing some digging to see where they're at in terms of, are they trying to find money? What's the chitter chatter? I'm, I'm dead serious. I, I, it's how, I listen on the street. Mm -hmm. How are other grocers doing? When I'm buying stuff, I'm, I'm looking and trying to figure out, okay, what's happening? Like, where do I think this is going to go? I mean, I live in a very expensive city, right? So, so and we the have first money in the be... city. It's not a poor city. Yeah. Yeah. So the first but thing I'm is still... from shelf space, right? Is your competitors on shelf try and figure out what they're doing. Like if we just take the chip example for a second is even the illustrations of bundles, right? Is um, you start like we used to see four for tens. You don't see those anymore. Now you see two no. for eights, for example, right? Well, so costs, so costs have correct, changed correct. that puppy. So, so two for six, two for seven, two for eight if you happen to be a two for nine, you're in some trouble, right? Because good, better, best is if I'm, if I'm, you know, everything drops a tier, right? Is um, the kids in the car, I'm now going for two for six, right? Because quantity, right? I, I have six ravenous kids after high, after, after school at high school, but for you, and they'll Kathy, eat everything on the planet. Might be okay. Kathy and I might do a two for nine, but right. where, before I might just go screw it. I'm gonna get four for eighteen and just be done with it. Now I'm I'm Everybody's changing that strategy. I'm going All the chips two in the for house six. Are two for nine. But now right. I'm going two for six, right. um, or four for twelve, and then I'm gonna go two for nine. Right. So right. if you're the premium, you lost dollar ring. Right. Which is exactly what's gonna happen during well, the slowdown. You could have basketed it. Gonna, right. Yeah. Correct. Correct. And I think that's typically what's gonna happen. Is again. Like we're we're all gonna do it. Like <clears throat> restaurants are typically the first ones who who get hit. Why? Yep. Because four nights out, all of a sudden becomes shit, man. Four nights yeah. out, I mean, I, you know, I mean, it's like yeah, a book, it's too whether much. Whether I cook or not, I mean, yeah. that's, that's that's getting a little heavy. Yeah, but we still want to, you know, um, treat ourselves and feel good about ourselves. But maybe now it's once a week, not four times a week, or once mm -hmm. a month, not four times a month, or whatever your number is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. And again, there's going to be people who went out seven nights now, and they're going to be going out seven nights the rest of their life. And that's fine. Yeah. But they do start to be not the majority. But so that's right? the, that's and I know the... we'll get a lot of arguments from people, Phil, saying yeah. this. They'll, they'll go back and forth. I, I get it. People will still buy Maseratis. Yeah. But those people weren't going to get impacted anyway. But yeah. a lot of people, Audi, BMW might look down, look at, I don't know, what's a, like a, a Lexus or a Honda or a Toyota. Yeah. Well, yeah, it yeah, could yeah. be a high end right. Honda. You're right. Or high end yeah. Toyota or, yeah. you know, a fully opted out. I don't know. I don't know if Civics or Camrys. I mean, I know they're not high end, but, you know, it might, that might be the replacement for a three series yeah. or two series yeah. or yeah. one series BMW. I don't know. But don't kid yourself. It's going to come from something. I already see it, man. I'm telling you. I'm already starting to discontinue stuff. Like if you want to know how, like, like I'm worried, I'm already starting to, to look at things saying, you know what, based on what we're hearing, based on what I hear in the store and based on what I see, I think I need to pull back a little bit. So and maybe so instead that's... of five SKUs on the shelf, I'm going to go down to two just so I have it, but I'm not going full tilt supporting it. But, but that's a legit thing, right? Cause I think the first thing is to know what your neighbors are doing to take a good hard look and make sure you're going to be competitive with them so that you can hang with them. Right. And then ask your buyer what they're you know, doing. Ask your buyer what you're doing. And then I think ask the other what one they're is doing. ask what's going on in their head.